Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to Chord Hub and for today's tutorial I am going to teach you a very wonderful song and a very simple song Happier by Olivia Rodrigo Okay, actually guys the original key of this song is an F sharp major Okay, but uh, this is not a advisable path for beginners because uh, For this chord set guys, we're going to use all bar chords for F sharp minor Sorry, F sharp Okay, we're going to use this and then E flat minor. Okay, and then G sharp minor. And then C sharp. So for this tutorial, guys, I'm going to transpose all the chords from an F sharp to a G major chord. Okay, one fret higher chord set. But it will make our chord set simpler for beginners. And by the way, guys, shout out to CJ uh, Recavente, okay, for uh, requesting this song. So keep dropping your comments, guys, and uh, song requests, okay? By the way, guys, I'm still going to teach you the original key of this song, which is the F sharp. But this time, guys, we're going to use a key here at fret number 4, okay? So we'll go now to the G uh, chord set, okay, the simpler chord set. So actually guys, for this song, we're going to use just four chords, okay? The G, A, and then E minor, and then A minor, and then D, okay? So if you notice, this is much simpler chord set compared to the F sharp, which we're going to use an F sharp, E flat minor, G sharp minor, and C sharp, okay? So first I'm going to teach you the plucking for the song, okay? So we start at the G chord and then I'm going to have this. And then we transfer the chord. So we start at the G formation chord and then you pluck its base, the G base, the sixth fret, okay? Sorry, the sixth string and then so we're going to number the strings guys. This is one, then two, three, four, five, and six. So the the, the uh, pattern for plucking is number one is six, and then three, and then two, and one. So basically six, three, two, one. Okay, that's for the first part. And then after that, 6, 3, 2, 1, I'm going to have this. So from 1, I'm going to move it up to number 2 strings and 3 to complete the cycle. So for the G pattern, so G, so for G guys, I'm going to have the complete cycle of 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's the whole cycle again. 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 and back to 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 so a little bit faster 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 sorry 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 okay so we're going to have two cycles uh, for G okay so 1 2 we transfer now the chords from G to E minor and we still have the same pattern for plucking so 6 3 2 1 2 3 6 3 2 1 2 3 so two cycles for E minor also the next is for A minor A minor so instead of starting it with the sixth string going to have this time the fifth string okay the pattern is for A minor is 5 3 2 1 2 3 5 3 2 1 2 3 and for the D going to use this one the D bass the fourth string so for D 4 3 2 1 2 3 4 3 2 1 2 3 so uh, from the top guys for G 6 3 2 1 2 3 6 3 2 1 E minor still have the same number 3 2 1 2 3 A minor 
guys if you think that this tutorial is helpful please support my channel by liking this video and comment down your song requests and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell below to see more of my videos thank you so for verse guys we're going to have two cycles for each chord okay two cycles for each chord but for chorus guys with 4d going to have four uh, cycles for d okay so like this e minor going to have this then we start the second verse so if you'd like I'm going to teach this one this riff before we go to uh, we before we proceed to the second uh, verse after the chorus the first chorus so start here okay so we slide from the second to fourth fret of the this third string okay this one and then after here back to the second fret of the third string okay again so after this i'm going to play it freely okay so this third string again and then after this here the second fret of the fourth string and open uh, this string then after this, we're going to have a B here at the second fret of the fifth string, and then we end up to a G bass, which we're going to proceed for the next uh, for the verse. Okay, so again, guys, so from the last part of the chorus, then. Again, slower. So this time, guys, I'm going to teach you the original key that's used in the song. So we, we put a capo here at fret number 4. And then we're going to have a D major chord, okay? But this sounds like an F sharp major, okay? The original key. So I uh, still have the same pattern for plucking but with a different bass so for number one chords the, the the d chord i'm going to have this said so four three two one two three four three two one two three and after this i'm going to have a b minor so the pattern is five three two one two three five three two one two three and then after this an e minor so the pattern is uh, 6, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 and then A 5, 4, sorry 5, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3 again B minor E minor 4 counts for 8 back to verse so for b minor guys if you are having a hard time doing this this is a bar chord so we're going to transpose it with this one so starting here at the second fret of the fifth string okay relative to the capo okay second fret here then second fret to here uh third string and third fret of the second string 
Okay, so D. Hope you are happy. Na, na. B minor, simplified. Selfish, you know. E minor. And A. And that's it guys for the chord of this song and I hope you like the tutorial. Thank you.